In today's video we're going to be showing you how to weld stainless steel completing a T-fillet using 100 amps and we're going to be completing this in three passes. So let's get into our first run. So to get this process started the first thing we're doing is holding that torch at a slight angle so about a 75 degree drag angle and we're constantly being conscious because we're trying to keep that material straight into the center of the joint to keep a nice 45 degree height on that rod all the way through. This allows us to focus our heat right into the corner of that joint. Because we're stick welding and we're working with slag, we're always maintaining a drag angle all the way throughout this process. And if you've managed to maintain your speed, your height and also your drag angle, you get one of them lovely satisfying peels like this. However, if you're just starting out your journey, creating a flux coating that peels beautifully like this requires patience and persistence and only happens when you've mastered your settings and all of your angles. So embrace the journey. And now we're gonna move on to our second run. But this second run now is gonna be slightly different. So we're still gonna keep our drag angle of about 75 degrees. However, now our height is gone up from 45 to about 75 degrees also. And what we're doing is aiming the electrode directly at the bottom plate, but also covering half of the previous run. And if done correctly, it should look like this, which then should give us a nice guide path to follow, which allows us to put our final pass, which is gonna be the third capping run. So again, 45 degree sharp angle, 75 degree drag angle, just like our first run, very, very similar run. However, now this is for our finish. So we have to make sure we're consistent with this run throughout. So it's quite easy to mess this run up and then have to start all over again or restart the joint altogether. But if you've done your second run correctly, you've left yourself a guide path to follow all the way around. So providing that your welding angle is correct, you should be able to follow this line all the way down this fillet. So to ensure that we fuse into the top of the plate and the previous run, we have to ensure that we allow our weld metal to build up consistently throughout by maintaining the same speed. You can do do this by keeping an eye on your leg lengths all the way down your joint. This is where you're going to get that nice looking professional finish. So now you've just seen how to do a multi run on a T fillet joint, but what happens when you have to multi run around a pipe? Well, we're going to show you how on the video you can see on the screen now. 